In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Stripe to your MemberPress site, so you can start using the Stripe payment processor to receive payments. Stripe will let you accept credit card payments, as well as payments through Apple Pay and Google Pay, if you choose to set up those two options. Once you connect your site with Stripe, you'll be able to choose between Stripe Checkout and Stripe Elements, or you can choose to set up both. They both have different benefits. In simple terms, Stripe Checkout has a pre-built-in form on the Stripe website, and lets you get up and running the quickest. It also lets you accept payments through the single euro payments area and Ideal, which is useful if you have customers in the EU. Stripe Elements, on the other hand, lets you design a custom payment form to fit the look of your site. And your users can complete the payment process right on your site, unlike Stripe Checkout, which redirects users to the Stripe website to complete the payment. To get Stripe set up, go to MemberPress and Settings. Then click on the Payments tab. First, click Add Payment Method, and here, next to Gateway, make sure Stripe selected. Then give it a name, something like Pay with Credit Card. Then over here, click the Connect with Stripe button. It'll redirect you to this page here. I'm already logged into my Stripe account, but if you're not, it'll prompt you to log in with your Stripe credentials. Next, select the account in Stripe you want to use. Then click Connect. It'll take a moment to process, then you'll be redirected back to the Payments tab of your MemberPress settings. Here, you can see that Stripe's been connected. Then, choose to use Stripe Elements or Stripe Checkout. I'll select Stripe Elements. Here on the left, you'll see three options. Unchecking Show Payment Label will hide the name you gave this gateway. Show Payment Icon will show or hide the credit card icons, and Show Payment Description will hide or show the description of the payment gateway. Over here, enabling the Test Mode checkbox will let you test your site and make sure the Stripe gateway isn't fully active and payments aren't being charged. Leave this unchecked if you're ready for live payments. Also, you won't be able to uncheck this option if your site doesn't have SSL set up. Contact your web host on how to get SSL on your site if you don't already. Once everything's set, click Update Options here to save the changes. Now, I'm going to test this out on my sample site to make sure I can accept payments. With Test Mode enabled here, I'll go back to MemberPress, Memberships, and see that I have two memberships. Basic is a recurring monthly membership, and Pro is a one-time fee. I'll click my Pro membership. Then I'll open the registration page in a new incognito window, and I'll begin signing up with some fake testing data. And here you can see the Stripe Gateway, which is displayed right here on the page since I selected Stripe Elements. So to test this, I'll go to the testing page of the Stripe support documentation and scroll down to see the list of test credit card numbers. I'll copy this first one here, then go back to my registration page and paste it here. Then just use any valid date in the future for the expiration and any three digit security code and any zip code. I'll finish the registration process and see my thank you page. First, as the test user I just signed up as, I'll go to my account page and the subscriptions tab. Here I can see my active subscription went through. Then I'll click the payments tab and see the successful payment as well. Now I'll close my incognito window and go back to my WordPress dashboard as my site's admin. I'll go to MemberPress and Transactions, and see the completed transaction here. So I know Stripe's working with one-time payments. Now I'll open a new incognito window and open my basic membership registration page, which is a monthly payment. So with this, I'm gonna test a recurring type of membership with Stripe. I'll sign up with some fake testing data, paste the test credit card number here, Choose any expiration date and security code and zip code, then complete the registration. I'll go to this test user's account page, subscriptions tab, and see the active subscription here. Then I'll click the payments tab and see the completed payment here too. I'll close the incognito window and go back to my transactions page of MemberPress. I'll see the transaction here as well. You can also go back to your Stripe dashboard on the Stripe website click Payments, and see the payments here. 
If you're having trouble getting this to work with recurring payments, you could possibly be having an issue with what are called webhooks. MemberPress sets all these up for you when you integrate with Stripe, but if you've recently changed your domain name, added SSL after you set up Stripe, or for some other reasons, your webhooks could have become invalidated. To check this, go to your Stripe dashboard and click Developers. Then click on Webhooks. You'll see the webhook for the URL here, and this section here is the webhook. Once you see it, go back to your WordPress dashboard, MemberPress, Settings, and the Payments tab. Here under the Stripe Gateway, this next to ID should match the webhook we just saw on the Stripe dashboard. If it doesn't, then this is most likely the cause of your problem. So, when you're all ready to start accepting real payments on your site, go back to the Payments tab of the MemberPress settings and uncheck Test Mode on your Stripe Gateway. Then click Update Options. To set up your Stripe Gateway to accept Apple and Google Pay, see the Stripe Support page for instructions on how to do that. There's one last thing I want to show you. For my previous example, I tested my Stripe Gateway using Stripe Elements. I just want to show you what the payment process will look like to users with Stripe Checkout. I'll select Stripe Checkout under my Stripe Payment Method and select Update Options. I'll then open my basic registration page in an incognito window. I'll start to register with some fake testing data, and you'll see the option here for my Stripe Gateway, without a field to enter credit card info. I'll click Sign Up, and you can see that I'm redirected to this payment page on the Stripe website. I'll complete the registration and see that it went through. One last thing, if you want to offer both Stripe Elements and Stripe Checkout at the same time, you can just add a new payment method in your MemberPress settings and connect Stripe again. I went ahead and did that for my sample site, and here's what it looks like on one of my registration pages. You've now seen how to set up the Stripe payment method in MemberPress. Visit our knowledge base for more information on setting up, testing, and troubleshooting the Stripe payment gateway. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.